Peter, which candidates seem to be on defense the most? Trace, it was Beto O'Rourke who stood at center stage right next to Elizabeth Warren, the highest polling candidate on the stage last night, but endured far more criticism than her or anybody else, including by Julian Castro, who chided O'Rourke for not agreeing with him that border crossing should be completely decriminalized. I just think it's a mistake, Bethel. I think it's a mistake. And I think that, that if you truly want to change the system, then we got to repeal that section. If not, Thank you. then it might as well be the same policy. Let, let me very respond question. to this very briefly. Since Actually, as a member of Congress, I helped to introduce legislation that would ensure that we don't criminalize those who are seeking asylum and refuge I'm in this country. Perhaps the most progressive platform last night was laid out by Senator Elizabeth Warren, who has risen in the polls while Bernie Sanders has fallen, but says when it comes to eliminating private health insurance coverage, she and Bernie are the same. Yes, I'm with Bernie on Medicare for All, and let me tell you why. I've spent a big chunk of my life studying why families go broke. And one of the number one reasons is the cost of health care, medical bills. Warren also danced around a question about whether or not there should be any limits on abortion as Jay Inslee took credit for signing legislation protecting a woman's right to choose before being called out by Amy Klobuchar. I'm the only candidate who has passed a public option and I respect everybody's goals and plans here. But we do have one candidate that's actually advanced the ball. And we got to have access for everyone. I've done it Your as a public time. Time. Senator, 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 Senator Klobuchar, I want to give you a false claim. I'm fascinated by this, Senator, I Senator I think, Klobuchar. I just want to say there's three women up here that have fought pretty hard for a woman's right to choose. Google says the most searched candidate on stage last night was actually Tulsi Gabbard, whose campaign complained about halfway through that they didn't think she was getting enough talking time on stage compared to Elizabeth Warren. Trace. Yeah, and we're going to talk a lot more about last night's debate, Peter. But looking ahead, what did Joe Biden's advisors say about the former VP's plan for tonight? Uh, Trace, they're telling us that they think the American people hear a lot about Joe Biden, but not about Joe Biden's policies. So Biden's team says they were happy to see the tenor of the discussion last night when his name didn't come up one single time. And so they aren't planning on having him initiate attacks against anybody else on stage tonight. So they just want him to make his case directly to the American people. But that does not mean that he will not be targeted or called out by others on stage, because after all, he is the one that everybody is trying to beat right now. Yep.